last season on Greek. Cap, how's having this end of the world party this weekend? We'll see what we can do to get your old chem Greeks back out. You have to. Are you getting in trouble for leaving the lab? I'll figure that out tomorrow. I decided I don't want my dress fun. Don't play this game with us, Evan. We make an agreement, a pledge to not have sex with our tempters. It's the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Don't you read the scriptures? There's gonna be signs. There's no more eye cap. I'm just banning the house. I'm leaving for real this time. I'm in love with Cappy. What are you doing? I want to be with you. Don't ruin things with Max because of some fleeting thought. You don't even want to try? Dumb. Casey says it wasn't because of Gabby, but I know it was. How do you know? Because I saw them coming out of the closet together. And then she dumped me. Never picked a girl. Don't leave you every time. You kill me. So Casey broke up with Max because of you. Let the countdown to the end of the world begin! It's the end of the world, Kathy. What are you going to do? Casey and Max. Do you really think Cappy's the reason they broke up? That's what Max said. But sort of Cappy and Casey dating now? That's so weird for me. Let's do something fun today. Just you and me. We could drive up to Canyon Lake. That sounds like crap. I, it was just a suggestion. No, I have to finish my stupid OCHEM extra credit today. You're not going to get in trouble for skipping out, are you? No, Hastings left the lab before I did. I just had to show him my results first thing tomorrow, which is why I have to get back to the lab to finish it today. OK, well, good luck. Call me later. I will. Why aren't you still at Fisher's? I came home early to check on you. Oh, uh, thanks, Ash. So, hitting the showers? Uh, do you want to come with me? Why? What's going on in our room? Is someone no. else in there? Um, something when you things that Case, I had a, a pity party last night. Is that salsa? I may have eaten a box of frozen taquitos and some cookies, but, but they were in the 100 calorie packages, so... I had seven of them. I also watched the first hour of Once, twice, and the last 45 minutes of The Notebook once. But today, I'm great. So you're OK about Max? No regrets? I'm still sad about Max. But today is a new day. That's out of my system. No dwelling, no more pity. I've even decided to stay positive about Happy. I mean, I could sit here angst all over myself about him turning me down. But who knows? Maybe when he finds out that Max and I broke up, then oh, I told him. Told who? What? What's that? Uh, last night after you left the party, I found Cappy on the roof, and I told him that you and Max broke up. Oh, you, you did? And, uh, and? It was super dramatic. <laughs> it was during the countdown to the end of the party, and everyone's like, eight, seven, six. So, I mean, how'd that go? Well, he thought about it a lot. Actually sat there for, like, five minutes until I had to pee, so... It means he's probably still thinking. Well, if, if... Cappy wants to give us another shot, then, then he knows where I live. He can come over here or call me. In the meantime, I'm just going to think about other things and... Just in case. <laughs> you have felt the love inside, but now that it's through, our sister cat is broken. We want to fix you. I wasn't sure if you wanted people to know or not, but it's not like it's the end of the world. <laughs> Casey, 
I'm sorry about your breakup with Max, but it's totally for the best. Thanks, Laura. I mean, he was a nerd, but he was hot. It was just so confusing. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Time to get some guns, girl. Are we raiding the Icky House? Oh, oh, um, everyone? So, last night, the Ickies disbanded. Franny's left the Greek system for good. But despite all the bad things she did, deep down, she really was a good... What are the guns for, then? It's for Gotcha. The Omega Chi's campus assassin game starts today. Ooh. Here are your dossiers. The object of the game is to eliminate your assigned target. If you succeed, then you take their target and the game continues until one lone survivor remains. And the winner receives a party at Dobbler's hosted in their honor, while the winner's house gets $500 and five points towards the Greek blue ribbon. The game starts tonight at the Dead Man's Party hosted by Omega Kai. Come as your favorite assassin or spy. I call Ethel Rosenberg. Okay. So are you going to go tonight? Uh, I'm going to just hang around the house. I got to give him a sigh. No way. Who'd you get? Who do you think? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. You want to trade? Cappy can come to me. Or I can hunt him down tonight. I need water. Wow, looks like someone had a lot of fun last night. Is fun a euphemism for vodka? I didn't have that much fun. Actually, I saw Rebecca having a lot of fun last night with a guy. No, you didn't. Wait, who? It was hard to tell, given his face was inside her mouth. <laughs> Bex, who's the mystery man? I'm really not telling anyone of you. Is that my phone? Whose phone is that? I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods oh, before. God. It's actually Q from Star Trek. Ever since I was a little kid, I like to imagine they sounded the same. Uh, this could very well be the worst I've ever felt in my entire life. What happened last night? You don't remember the party? Getting frisky with your buddy Grant, your purity pledge. Oh no, Grant and I kissed. Oh, if anyone from the house saw me screwed because he didn't want to come out yet. <laughs> Not to mention all the react. Having two gay guys in the house, I mean, you know, one is fine, and two is just a bathhouse. But you guys didn't do anything else? No. Wait a minute. The only reason I kissed Grant is because I saw you and the landlady slide into second base. What's up with that? Well, you know, I got really powerful pheromones and. I had to fake a nosebleed to get out of there. At least both of us kept our purity pledges. Yeah. Hey, whose pants are those? Those would be mine. Oh, God. Morning. You're ootin' about early this fine Sunday. Looking for Max, eh? Yep. Uh, I'm a friend of his. I was hoping he can let me into the chemistry building for this lab today. Have you seen him? He left. Do you know he's coming back? Oh, he quit. I mean, quit what? He quit his RA job? I think he had to since he quit the graduate program. Oh, in one night? Oh, yeah. He went back to England to work with George Stephanopoulos. Magnus Stephanopoulos. Did he tell you he was leaving the country? I mean, did you talk to him? This morning. He said there was nothing here for him anymore. Yeah, so he's really gone. Gee. I'm sorry. I call the heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and Dale, do you think we can give Q a rest for a little while? Therefore, choose life yeah. that you and your offspring may live, loving the Lord your You know, school is a game of averages, and while I've never had to average in a D before, maybe it's not as bad as we think. So without extra credit, D on my midterm, even if I make 100 on the final, which is virtually impossible. My average is still a low C. I should have listened to you. Whoever said live every day like it's your last is an idiot. You know, I guess the first rule of living every day like the world's gonna end is to make sure the world actually ends. Well, one world kind of ended. Even if I get A's in my other honors classes, I'm still gonna drop below the required 3.5 Q. So, that's it. I'm out of the honors program. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Russ. I'm dark on shopping. What's in the box? It's for you. It's for Max. Oh. So you know he and I uh, broke up. Did you know he went back to England? He's gone. How? The, how? the grad program only gave him a temporary leave of absence. Apparently, he's uh, he's taking a permanent leave of absence now. I told you this would happen. Scorched earth. Yeah. Remember? I mean, he fled the country because of you. Wait, you, you can't blame me for that. It was his own choice. He was my friend, and he was the only guy at CRU who inspired me academically. And now he's gone. That's no reason for me to stay in a relationship with him. 
He just wasn't the right guy for me. And Cappy is? I'm not with Cappy, I don't think. You don't think? Look, I really am sorry about Max. But you can always call him, email him, Skype him. I need him today. Because I didn't finish my Grignard project last night. Grignard? Like that guy from Entourage? Maybe I can help. Yeah, Casey, okay, so you can help me with my organic chemistry report on that guy from Entourage. Forget it. something you can do. Is it too late to drop the class or take an incomplete? Yeah, I looked in all day. Joe, what if Dominator got you and you puke in all the practice you can get? Marks, on your marks. Aim, fire at will, or suck it, Wilbur. Points for pickle, zero for spitter. Have you talked to Cappy about this? He might be able to help. The last thing I need is his help. <laughs> Spitter's disqualified. What? Pickle wins. Yeah! <laughs> Why'd you shoot an old lady? How are you an old lady? Spitter's right. You could have been a serial killer dressed to look like an old lady for all he knew. Haven't you seen Steel Magnolias? I don't think that's what that movie was about, Cap. No, but if you imagine their secret homicidal maniacs, it's much more enjoyable. Cut Spitter some slack. Everything okay, Spitter? You seem kind of... Clenched. Oh, fine. I wish I could say the same for Max. Yeah, I heard they broke up last night. How's she doing? Well, we all made choices last night, and we just have to live with those consequences. I guess you're right. Hey, Beef, I'm up next. So, you really don't remember what happened last night? The sex was pretty incredible, right? Uh, no, I, I totally remember. Um, just a little hazy is all, but yeah, last night was great. Then you remember what you said? About fate? Fate? Yeah. And eternity? Eternity? Really? I know you seem pretty intent on a small ceremony, but I wouldn't mind a big wedding in Maui with our friends and family. Okay, there's no way that we, we talked about that. Consider this payback for telling me Dale's your boyfriend. Dude, you suck. <laughs> Nothing happened. We kissed. That was it. Yeah, at a KT party. Look, we're just gonna have to be better and try to keep it quiet. This is gonna continue, okay? Is this gonna continue? Hey! What happened to you guys last night? You didn't come home. <laughs> Nothing happened. I stayed at Rusty's and Grant stayed someplace completely different. Well, we have a busy day. Uh, I'm gonna take care of the deposit on the booze for tonight. Grant, can you grab some pledges, go pick it up this afternoon? Sure. You got it. Maybe later tonight's better. Yeah, it's a date. Sort of. Hey, Case. Whoa. Want a cat, please? I'm all good, thanks. Ooh, you're all dressed up. Oh, yeah, I need to find a sexy spy costume for tonight. Do you think I can pull off this Lefemme Nikita trick without the creepy 80s hair? Hey, Case, I talked to Rusty, and I'm a little worried about him. Oh, don't be. He always sounds like that when he breathes. You get used to it. No, I, I think he might be in trouble. Um, and I think I'm the last person you want to help from. Um, chocolate? It's about polymer science. Really? The last person, then. He got a D on his OCHEM midterm, and he's probably gonna fail out of the honors program. Uh, fail out? Yeah, he had a chance to make up for it with this extra credit project, but he skipped out on that to go to the party. I'm really worried about him. He's got to get into the lab and finish it tonight. Tonight? We could both use help from our big sis. So Fisher and I are going to the dead man's party as Mr. and Mrs. Smith, which should be pretty easy for me since I already have plenty of dresses that show off my boobs. <laughs> hey, you could go as Angelina Jolie in Wanted. What's the difference between Angelina Jolie and Mr. and Mrs. Smith and Angelina Jolie in Wanted? Four kids, maybe five. <gasps> I'm thinking Sydney Bristow. Oh, you know what I always loved about Sydney Bristow? Her double life. It must have been pretty hard for her to have to keep all those secrets from her friends, her really close friends. She goes shopping with. Nice try. <gasps> Still not telling you who the guy was. I need cash. I need coffee. But I'm not giving up, Bex. I will not rest until I find out who your mystery man is. Hey. Was she talking about your gotcha target? I wish. How's your bank account zero? I don't know. Must be some weird bank failure thing. You no know, banks have been failing all over these days. What's going on? You can talk to me. 
Okay. You remember homecoming? My parent problems? Well, I gave up my trust fund. What the hell is wrong with you? Are you an idiot? Well, I thought you, of all people, would understand. Oh, my God. You're poor. Not completely. I have some separate accounts. My credit cards would be fine. For how long? Good question. Do you need some cash now? I could help you out. Uh, I do. I need some cash for the deposit on the cakes for the night. I could pay you back later. Actually, if I could trouble you for a favor, we could call it even. What do you think? Any sword shall devour flesh with the blood of the stairs and the captives. From the long-haired heads of the enemies, rejoice with him, O heavens. Bow down to him, O gods. What the hell is that? The blood of his it's cute from Star Trek. I've grown to find him oddly calming. I talked to Jordan, and she told me about the honors program, and I'm here to help. The Lord swore to your father. I know how important this is to you, and the fact is, when you want something bad enough, you do anything you can to get it. And it shouldn't take all day to figure it out. Look. I'm fine with it. You made one hasty decision without considering repercussions. Don't let it ruin your future. No offense, but how are you going to help me? Well, I may not know anything about organic chemistry, but I know I can get you into that building. I don't know. No, I don't know. Rusty, stop wasting time. Get your coat and let's go. Now. You know, you sounded like mom just Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I know, and I'm kind of freaking out about it, okay? Did you two call to have the building opened? Yes, my brother here forgot his medication. Yeah, he does look a little sickly. Yeah, he's uh, hypoglycemic. That's why he looks that way. I'm hypoglycemic, not deaf. Mm -hmm. Rusty, I, I think you're looking a little flushed, like you might go into shock. Uh, I don't look the guy. Trust me, I think you are. Oh, I, you know, I think I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Yeah, you know, let me look in my bag for a candy oh, bar. Oh, hold on, Keep it I don't like a candy bar. Oh, really? <sighs> Here, eat this. Eat this. Why? Uh, he, he listen to him, Rusty. He's professional. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. Wow. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that. Uh, I think oh. I think that did the trick. He's looking much better now. Really? Yes. Yeah. It, it comes and goes. Thank you so much for your help. I'm gonna take him straight to the student health center. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. You're great. You were so awesome. Thank you. Check you later. Yeah. Look at all of these keys. You think in a science building that have like fingerprint scanners or something? Well, we need to sign up his fingerprints so we can get them off my tongue. Ew. Okay, I think this might take a while. Hey, Cap. Daily. Uh, here you go. Oh, thank you, Pledge. It's my costume for the dead man's party tonight. Got your little wore out from last night's party? Yeah, so? Anyway, uh, I know you seem to help Rusty out a lot with matters of the heart and, nope. uh, and flesh. I'm glad you mentioned Rusty. He's been moodier than usual today. Is there like an engineering menses or something? Only when you're flunking out of the program like he is. Since when? Why do I know about this? I don't know. I figure he used to talk to Max more about that kind of thing. I don't know. Um, back to my problem. I am having a... Used to? Yeah. Yeah, Maxi pad skipped the country. What? Since when? Why did I know about this either? I... Wait, did you... <laughs> Did you say Maxi Pad? Yeah. That is still funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. But yeah, he left town this morning. Well, where's Rusty now? He left me a note. Seems he's going to try to get into the chem lab tonight. But, uh, the thing that I'm dealing with... I gotta go. If you could finish up here, I, I don't, I'm not even positive what this is. Kind of having a personal crisis. I just have a minute. You look good. Thanks. Hi, uh, delivery for Rebecca Logan? Ooh, Rebecca got flowers! <gasps> what? You got flowers? I got them from the mystery guy. No, don't! <laughs> uh, last night was amazing. Signed EC. Who's EC? Eric Chapman from High Sigma? Um, no. <gasps> Edward Cullen. <gasps> no, he's a fictitious character. Emma Cannon? Is she a lesbian? Are you a lesbian again? It's Evan Chambers. Evan Chambers? Really? You got me. He and I made out at the party, and I know that's bad because of the whole Casey thing. So. You don't have to worry about Casey and the girl code. I mean, I can think of a million other reasons you should want to keep this a secret, but Casey and Evan are old news, so you should do whatever makes you happy. Evan's gonna be at the party tonight, so you should give it a shot. Okay. Now, tell me everything that happened last night. God, where to start? Thanks for letting me raid your closet, Dale. You were the only person I know that might have clothes resembling anything close to Austin Powers. Thanks. So you really didn't end up breaking your purity pledge at all, huh? Nope. Aren't you proud of me? Proudest. Doesn't mean I'm not going to, though. I really like Grant. He's awesome. 
We're gonna give it a shot. Well, what about the house and the brothers? Yeah. Just have to keep it quiet. I did it last year with Heath. Come to think of it, I'm pretty good at sneaking around. Maybe I could be a real assassin. Listen, do you know anything about the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse? Uh, yes, Dale, and I get it. I'm going to hell twice for being gay and for having premarital sex. Hey, you know what? If the U.S. legalizes gay marriage and Grant and I get married, am I safe on one of those? I had sex with Sheila. I was at that stupid party, and, and, and everybody was talking about the end of the world and the apocalypse, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it was like every Easter Sunday back home. And, you know, I was surrounded by all that partying. I just kept thinking, you know, what if the world really does end? I'd die a virgin. Did you ever have thoughts like that before you had sex? And then I saw the Four Horsemen. You know, I mean, I thought it was the Four Horsemen. I realized now the more obvious answer is it's probably just mounted campus security and not the sixth sign of the apocalypse. But, you know, I digress. And then, then I heard his voice, well, Q's voice, tell me it was OK. So when well, you and Grant stayed back at the party and boozed it up, me and Sheila came back here, and we did it. She was gone before you even got back. No, it's OK. I washed the sheets like nine times today. But. You know, the thing is, it wasn't the horseman or Q or anybody else that made me, made me do it. I, I think I was looking for any possible reason to do it because I wanted to. And, and now I wish I wouldn't have because sex changes everything and, and you cannot change it back. Have you tried that one already? Nope. It's just taking forever. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Wait, I just... Yeah, no, we're gonna start over. Sorry. It's Jordan. She just texted me to see how we're doing. So what happened with your grades? I don't know. I guess I got a little distracted. You must really like her. Jordan's great. What I like most is the way I feel when I'm with her. Do you mean sexually? Well, we haven't... Exactly. Okay, no, no physical stuff. Sorry. Since we started dating, I kind of feel like that guy who doesn't have to think about studying all the time. Like, I could just hang out at the KT house with my arm around my girl. Just have fun, you know? And that's it. But you're not that guy. Thanks, Casey. No, no, I mean, any guy can be that guy. You're the amalgam, remember? You can't give up one for the other. Like you gave up Max for Cappy. I didn't give up Max for Cappy. I just realized he and I were too different. Are you bummed about Max? I really wanted it to work out with us. He's a really good guy. Well, he did just kind of leave without saying goodbye, though. Sometimes guys leave for us. Sometimes they never show up. Whoa. <laughs> Kate? Hey. Why? You guys know the windows are open in here, right? and got the impression that I liked you. You know, you don't have to sound so grossed out when you say that. So, she's coming here tonight thinking that we like each other and this is our first date or something. Help me, just for an hour or two. Uh, well, what's in it for me? I already paid you once. You paid me for the flowers. This is completely different. I'm spending an entire evening with you when I could be hitting on other girls. I'll pay you. Because I, unlike you, am not an insecure mess when it comes to flaunting my money. Hey, guys. <gasps> Sydney Bristow, great costume. And Evan, you're... Wearing Banana Republic. I'm Jason Bourne. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a big costume guy, actually. So. Yeah. Well, you would have thought for your own house's costume party, you would have put forth a little more effort, but whatever. Um, Fisher, this is Evan Chambers. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Hey, you too. So, Rebecca told me all about last night. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> to think all that time you were with Franny was just an attempt to get closer to Rebecca. Makes more sense than dating Franny, I gotta say. <laughs> pretty romantic, right? Do you have the secret notes, the longing, the subtext? Who knew all that time you guys were talking, there was so much more happening on your side? Oh, I keep replaying some of the conversations you guys had and imagine them with what I know now. It's like watching The Sixth Sense the second time. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Let me know what I can do to help, Spitter. It's what I'm here for. Great. Nice ninja costume, Cap. Thanks. I was gonna head to Dead Man's party tonight. 
thought it might come in handy. Oh, speaking of parties, how how was the rest of your night last night? Good. A Ashley told me all about it. You know, the, the, the party and, and stuff. So I know about the party and stuff. Case, can you grab a clean beaker from on top of the yeah, shelf? Yeah, I'll go to the So, uh, this thing kind of looks like a giant bong, huh? Oh! Whoa! Whoa. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yeah. I'm a ninja. Case, can you just quit messing around, please? Okay. Case, I need a nitrogen bubbler. It's labeled in the drawer over there. Bubbler? Are you sure we're not making a bong? So what can I do? Chemistry's just like cooking, right? I watch the Food Network. Maybe I can be like your Sioux scientist. Don't, don't. Rusty, six hands are better than four. Cappy, can you grab some hoses over there? I need two for the water on the reflex condenser and one for the nitrogen bubbler. Let me plug them into the valve right okay. there. Um, okay. Okay, I got it. See? I should totally switch my major. This is so easy. Maybe I'll take up chemistry next semester. Oh, oh my God. I'm sorry. Um... Case, can you grab a nitrogen bubbler? Maybe I'll just stand guard. Over here. I think there were more parts to that. Ladies, can you guys get me some water? Okay, right away. Very cute. So how much longer do we need to stay down here? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Maybe we should just wait a while. Wait a half hour? Maybe longer. 35 minutes? I want to slow down. You know, sex just changes everything. I'm enjoying right now. Just getting to know each other. And after we get bored with each other, then we have sex. I can't believe I'm sneaking around the house with a guy again. Again? I think it's working. Yeah, you know, you're going through an awful lot of trouble to keep this secret. Like, seriously, come on, you can tell me. Who'd you make out with last night? It's not part of our deal, Born. Regret is a powerful emotion, Rob. Huh? I'm starting to wonder if giving up the trust fund was that great of an idea myself. You got to stand up to your parents. Yeah, but to what end? For the money I have, it's gonna run out. I'm not gonna lie to you, Evan. From where I stand, you are pretty screwed. I think we both are. So we'll just be screwed together. So we can keep these secrets just between us? Between us. I'm all finished. I just have to write some of these results in. Oh, I can put stuff away. No. Oh, come on. I said I'm sorry like a thousand times. It was an accident. Did you accidentally hit on Casey, too? When? I've been sitting on the stool for almost two hours. Come on. Last night, Max told me everything. You admitted you weren't over Casey, and then you pulled her into the closet to try and win her back. After all the crap that you gave me for being a douche mover with Jordan, at least I felt terrible for what I did. It's you. You've been acting like you didn't do anything wrong all day. I'm sorry. You're right, I'm a douche mover. Stop. Cabby didn't hit on me. He didn't pull me into the closet. I pulled him in and told him that I wanted to get back together with him. And he turned me down. Cabby and I aren't getting together. Are we? Crap, that's the leak detector. I'm gonna turn off the gas. We gotta go. Okay, come on. Let's go. Yeah. No, just leave. Go, 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 go. Out the window. What are you going to do? I'm going to do what I do best. Oh. 
Oh. Test tubes, not bunnies. What the hell? I'm a ninja for the ethical treatment of animals. Nita? I'm not one of you guys again. Look, there are no animals in this building. Oh, really? Then where are they? Did you know that there are more animals used for testing than there are in the entire world? Well, that doesn't sound accurate. Well, probably not. Okay. It... Okay, cool. Great. Uh. Hugs, not drugs. Hugs, not drugs. Ow! Well, Dale, you'll be interested to know that Grant and I have decided to hold off on having sex. I'm actually not that interested, but... Thanks, Dale. So, uh, how are you doing? You know, I've done a lot of thinking, a lot of soul-searching, and, uh, I think I've come to terms with my relationship with Sheila. I know what to do now. That'd be her. Hey. Hi, Dale. Hi, Dale's friend. Uh, Sheila? Yeah? Uh, I gave you my virginity, and now I need to give you something else. I think we need to get married now. If it's just my class ring, I'm gonna have to ask for money from my parents to buy a real one, but... Dale, that is so sweet. And last night was really special. And you're a great tenant. But, you know, I just, I've been really busy with work. Um, I might have to tend building C, and uh, I have to go to Tucson next week, and then there's my cat. <laughs> so I will totally call you when things slow down, okay? is officially a C. Wait, that's it? After everything you had to do last night? It's good enough for now. Thank you for calling in reinforcements last night. You kind of saved me. Oh, well, you have passion for what you do. I think it's great. Honestly, I'm kind of jealous because I probably would have blown it off. <laughs> well, I have to warn you, I might not continue to be the cool fraternity guy that you know and love. Like, I mean, you might have to share me with engineering for a while. Yeah, sounds like a hot freeway. <laughs> So, Becca and Evan, huh? Yeah, it's weird. In fact, she wanted to keep it a secret. She didn't feel the need to be discreet the last time they hooked up. Oh, people change. Totally. Like Cappy. You know, I really thought he'd come around. Yeah, after all the back and forth, I can hardly blame him. I mean, I spent two years telling him no. I couldn't expect him to wait forever. Oh, okay. What? You have felt no, love gosh. inside, <laughs> but now that... Don't do that Wow, sound. I'm getting to the meow kitty meow meow chorus. <laughs> Oh. Um, <clears throat> I'll see you at the house. Okay, thanks, Ash. Yeah. <laughs> nice vest. <laughs> Seems to bring out my eyes, huh? <laughs> that was pretty great, what you did last night. Well, the least I could do. I sure wasn't gonna help him with the chemistry. <laughs> now I know how Rusty feels at a date function. Listen, Case, I... You know, I think the answer's pretty clear about us. You know, I, I, <laughs> I felt so lame. Yesterday, I actually thought you might change your mind and come for me in some grand movie moment that only exists in the deranged mind of Nora Ephron. <laughs> yeah, like I said, lame. Anyway, I guess I'll see you around. Around it is. Oh, hey, Cap. Gotcha. <laughs> it's so it begins a countdown. Can you think of the reason why you should have it downtown? What you the hell am I waiting for? Casey Beaver, have you seen Casey? Where's Casey? Like recently? Oh, there, numbnuts. Hey, I'm celebrating my independence day, man. Come celebrate. Actually, I, I gotta go. Wait, wait, wait. It's one in the morning. Where do you have to be right now? No one's looking. We're all too drunk to care. Oh, speaking of drunk, I had the distinct displeasure of watching Casey's engineer actually puke into a coat pocket. <laughs> it was amazing. Ex engineer. They broke up tonight. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, you know, I thought they kind of made sense. You know, he seemed really good for her. That's something that you and I definitely were not. Why do you say that? I don't know why you still care. Oh, please, tell me you weren't. Or what? 
Oh, no, for a second, I thought that you were heading out to pay a visit to the ZBZ house. So what if I was? Well, they just broke up. It's not like that, okay? It's this whole thing. Yeah. A few weeks ago, I told, I, I told her that I still had feelings for her, but she was with Max. And then we agreed that we couldn't be friends because I needed to move on, and I was moving on. Yeah, but I'm then tired was... just listening to it. Aren't you tired? Do you really want to get back into that? Look, dude, you don't know what you're talking about, okay? You obviously have no intention of ever graduating and, and leaving this place. It's her senior year, man. Casey thinks about the future. How's that gonna work out? Cap, I have no ulterior motive here, okay? We're friends, aren't we? And for a brethren, Kai, Kai, Bing. Look, all I'm saying is, you know how I felt to lose it once. Do you really want to go through that again? Come on, man. Let's, come on, let's grab a beer and sleep on it. If you wake up and you feel the same tomorrow, I can't stop you. Hey, wait up. You're the kisser. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we doing? And so it begins.